welcome I'm UK Gamer 808 and my channel is mainly FS19 mods and mods and testing and anything to do with farming simulator mods basically I cover it all so today we have some new mods in the mod hub update and no update to the mods in testing list which was a a bit pants but there it is so let's go to the mod hub and see what we're looking at today so first new mod for today is the ursus 1934 right so where the hell did that come from then because that wasn't in the mods and testing list or any of that and now it's just come out i wish they just sort their oh, it does annoy me it's like what's this anyway so this is made by Bosek 17 Austria and Karas mods this tractor made in Poland 2001-2009 and we have opening doors 15 kilo weight engines tire configurations and a few other things 190 horsepower 82 grand not bad all right we'll have a look at that one and then we have same with this one that that isn't in the mods and testing list or anything so I've never heard of it where did it come from oh Anyway, Case IH 12551455XL by Danny86, Lucas2002, Puma Butters. And we have tyre configurations on that front plate. Uh, what's that? Fr different front loaders as well. And engine options. And the doors can be opened. The rear window can be opened. And the roof window can be opened. And we've got quite a few different engine configurations we have the beast the 1455 xl beast 1996 that'd be interesting right then another one so where are where are all these in testing then well the the it runner was in testing before christmas and so we have the tgs 26500 it runner by pm modding and that's 165,000. is that a little bit cheaper um, i don't know all right we'll have a look at that one that's pretty cool because some of these um it runners are a bit too long especially for the smaller farm then we've got the trefler tg300 by seam or sem and daz alex and that is it doesn't say how wide is this not a very wide one though is it no it's not it doesn't look like anyway so we'll have a look at that and then the last things we have are the cow's barn which is an update for that fixed problem with manure tip call and then we have seasons geo missouri is out today and that is season well seasons geo missouri enjoy the weather and growth of one of the most heat intense farm regions of the world the latest version of system seasons mod is required and yeah that one doesn't look too bad actually at least you can plant straight away can't you there's no waiting around and then as soon as the summer hits you're harvesting so you've got quite a lot of harvest time on that map cool and that was by adub modding and that is your lot for new mods today right then first off we have the ursus and the trefla tg300 now this is the Ursus 1934 and I'm not sure where this one come from because I'm sure that wasn't the model what was in mods and testing but I could be wrong anyway nice cheap tractor £82,000 to buy £4,182 on your initial leasing cost so not too bad on that it's got a 24 mile an hour top speed on it and it is minus nine on the slot count, which is pretty low. Now it has got a few different options for the exhaust or the silencer, where you can have a the aluminium one. I've got one of those up at the shop. We'll have a look at those on the next mod. And there's a round one, and then I think that was the Fiat one. I think, I can't honestly remember. Anyway, there are 500 pounds, 700 pounds for extra options on that. Now we do have some tyre configurations where we've got trail balls, Michelin's, knock-ins and Mitus as well. But with the trail balls, we've got the twins and the wheel weights and all that malarkey. And then with the Michelin's, the knock-ins and the Mitus, then those are just added wheel weights on those. So I'll tell you what, let's get that disconnected. 
there we go we can have a look around the back now apart from the lighting's a bit pants but yeah there you go so that is the ursus pretty nice little tractor it's quite a long tractor compared to others but it's got a good turning radius on it we fire it up so I, I think it's just that bonnet's a little bit longer isn't it but yeah it's got a decent turning radius on it because i thought that might be limited but no it does a job no problems so lighting wise and that's the first stage of lighting which is lighting on the front and on the back and then we have the next stage which is the lighting on the back and then the next stage main beams on the top there and that was it i think one yeah it was and then indicators and a door opening we got that oh let's spin around that way let's get it back in the sun so you can open that door and open the back just like that and then i think it was the other door as well wasn't it or was that the other one i'll tell you what let's just put the help window on so yeah rotate crane we got that door like that and then that one is that way just like that and then we've got the that's the back one where is it let's turn those indicators off that one on the right stick for operating that pretty cool so inside we've got the dash does light up with the lighting and working speedo and we have got a bit of pedal action going on you can see it more in there there we go bit of feathering a nice little tractor i'm not any problems with it it's stable doesn't spit um doesn't roll nice bit of kit now it has got a few different options for the front as well where you can have different front weights on there as well where they've got a 800 kilo weight I think this one was the 800 kilo actually because it's yeah it sits in the bottom there turn that light on that bit there you can see that that's all the weights there that's the 800 kilo and then there's a thousand two thousand and two thousand five hundred kilo one and they're go up to two and a half thousand pounds basically or you can have a front hydraulic if you want for 1500 pounds but cracking mod love it but inside the other thing is good visibility all round nice bit of kit you can just see the indicators there on the dashboard and then we got the what is it there it is indicators and then it does light up but all works no problem i do think those mirrors are quite not right but a lot of time they're not take a bit of tweaking anyhow 24 mile an hour top speed so not too bad and 82 grand can't go wrong jobs are good and right next one is the trefler the tg 300 and it's a disc well when do you determine a disc harrow i suppose this well it's not a disc harrow is it it is cultivator and it's just got a roller attachment on the back now this is cultivator then it is in the cultivator section and it is a three meters wide thirty five thousand five hundred pounds to purchase and eighteen hundred and ten pounds for initial leasing cost and it's got a working speed of nine mile an hour on that oh there we go nine mile an hour on that and you need 120 horsepowers to operate it so minus six on the slot count so let's hook it up and then we can have a look at these hoses as well there we go see it's all a nice tidy job but i didn't understand why that we've got it's just on the two pin so we have got the really good turning 
Look at that, that's absolutely awesome. I love it when they got these two, well, they call them a two point hitch, aren't they? But it, you have got the third hitch on there, which is chained up. So I didn't quite get that. And then I saw this hydraulic here and it was like, oh, all right, what does that do? That must be for raising and lowering it. And it's not because the raising and lowering is there on that bit. So I couldn't quite work that out because it is pivoted there. Whoa, camera's going all over the place. Yeah, you've got a pivot there and a pivot over there. So that tells me that that drops down. But when you operate it, it didn't, well, that one didn't move basically. So you drop it down and then that one moves. If we get in a bit closer, you can see that one. I'm pretty sure that one's got nothing to do with it. Or has it? Oh, it has. I just saw that pivot and thought, right, yeah, that's the crack. So I'll shut up and let's get on with it. Anyhow, so there it is. All we've got on it is a drop it down. And away we go. Jobs are good and easy as that. We don't really have any issues with cultivators, just with drivers. And work has been fine with this one. It is a three meter, so I can't see we're gonna have any issues. It's quite long but nice looking mod let's slow that down put it on to about four mile an hour we see a bit of animation going on but the detail in all these hoses and it, it's a proper job it really is done a fantastic job like all in here oh it's very nice and the logos on the sides awesome We've got lights on the back there. I didn't notice them earlier. So that is the Treffler TG300S cultivator. Cool. Right, well, we've got a couple more mods to show you. And I'll tell you what, I may as well just left, let him get on with that. You carry on with that. I will see you at the shop momentarily. So here we have the, I brought out the one with the twin wheels and then it's got the extra weights on the front of it as well. And it's pretty nice, I like it. The Ursus 1954. That is the, ex whoa, camera, sorry. That's the extra engine upgrade for it. But it said 190 horsepower, but it didn't give you, when you went for the upgrade, it didn't give you any more horsepower. Well, it didn't say, so. I, I don't know, another little glitch in the shop says one thing is another, but there you go. Right, moving on, I wish this camera would, there it is, sort itself out, see, it just zoom. Moving on, going on to the case IH1255XL and the 1455XL, which this one is, this is the beast model, this one, and with these tire options on it, there is so many different tire options. We're gonna go into the shop and show you because there's a crazy amount on it. And I got a couple of front weights on the front of there at the moment. Now this will cost, it was uh, 52,390 pounds to buy. What the hell is going on with this camera? Right, don't move that camera button a minute. Anyway, as I was saying, Cost of it to buy £52,390 and £2,671 on your initial leasing costs. And it is minus 44 on the slot count, which I was like, wow, that's, uh, that's a lot. Now it is the 1255 is the 125 horsepower. And then we have the larger model, which we're going to go in the shop and sh I'll show you it all. Now we have got some windows and doors. Where they gone? It's right crane. So we've got the back opens like that. And then you see the door right on the other side. Uh, that's the button, there it is. And then the same with the other door, I think, wasn't it? No, it was the sunroof, wasn't it? It was the sunroof opens up like that and then I thought the other door went as well no that's that that's that that's that one 
that's that one. No, perhaps it wasn't the other door as well then. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, inside, fire it up. There's exhaust. I love these exhausts. Whoa. Look at that. Quite a few different exhaust configurations and air filter and tyres. Loads of different configurations, basically. There's a lot. Now, I think this is a nice looking tractor, it really is. Especially with these extra wheels on them. The narrows on the, on the sides, pretty cool. So, a lighting wise, and we've got full lighting, we've got the main. There we go, main light there, and then that's the one on the back as well, and then work lights on the back, work lights on the front, and then off, and then two beacons. But this one is the beast. There's a few different models. We're going to have a look. Fire it up. There it is. Yeah, and I like to see the exhaust opening up when you're giving it a little bit more throttle. Pretty cool. Nice feature. I like that. Nice mod. Right, let's go in the shop and I'll show you. Now it's under small tractors. And there it is there. And you see we've got the we've got a couple of different rim colours, not too much. That one is the red beast, the black. And then the main colours, we've just got the case IH restored. There's two different restored, and then the black beast, which is that one there. Cool. And then we have model selection. Now it's annoying because it uh let's go through the tires first. We've got these trail balls, Michelin's and yeah, it is just Troubles, Michelin, Moitus, and then we go down, and these ones are just extra wheel weights. We've got wheel weights on that, yeah. And then it was the other one, I think. Where are they gone? The Troubles, we've got standards, and then we got these twins on the side. And there's quite a few different configurations. We've got normal twins as well. Let me go to the Michelins. I don't think there was too yeah, there wasn't too many on the Michelins. And then on the front there, we got the front weight, front hydraulic for 900 quid, which that was cheap. The front weight's 470. And then, or you can just have the weights carrier. Well, see, camera button again, whizzing off. Get back there, thank you. And then here's the exhaust options we got steel pipe straight steel exhaust enameled and steel pipe bent front loader attach here where they got the stool the alloy console as well oh where we got there we go so we got the two different ones or no and then you got beacons one side beacon or no beacons and then the same with the air filter, where you got air, air, let's get right now, air filter low, air filter high, just like that. So let's get the B state. Yeah, a lot of slots, but whoa, there we go. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I like that. Nice looking tractor. Anyhow, moving on, let's turn that off. We have the MAN TGS 500, which is pretty cool. Six wheel drive, so it is quite a little bit shorter than the other ones. Well, obviously the other one's got another wheel here, so it's extended another couple of foot or so at least. Now this is a bargain, it's £165,000, oh, camera stop doing that, it's £165,000 to buy and I forgot about the initial leasing cost actually, I didn't write that down, anyway engine options, 430 horsepower and then we can go up to 470 horsepower 
and then we've got a 510 horsepower with for an extra 20 grand and tire wise we've got Nokians, Lizards and Trailborgs so I got out the Nokians because I always get out Trailborgs or anything else like that but cracking now on the front we've got the options to have the front plate the grill which is that bit there and then the plate and grill or nothing so if you don't want this on the front you don't have to have it we've got lighting on the top with a couple of beacons as well and love it i'm a truck man anyway i love these trucks they're pretty awesome but missing something here hello where is the attacher how are we meant to use anything to put a trailer on there like an it runner trailer or any trailer we seem to have a lack of attacher which does frustrate me but it is what it is that's the first thing i'm like oh has it got attacher no it doesn't well what a pile of poo anyhow apart from that we've got the exhaust stack coming out of the top there which is uh, different to the other ones and it all looks pretty cool nice looking bit of kit six by six so it shouldn't get stuck anywhere go inside and we've got the man inside and out it's pretty cool love it those mirrors seem to be pretty pretty good that one's a little bit far out man but well, never mind and I didn't notice that earlier that that bit the hook actually extends in I thought it just uh, goes back but it doesn't that's, that's different so beacons got the beacon on the back and then all the lighting going on nice work lights right in the back as well cool So th this one, you can put the bigger hook lifts um, bits on the back, your uh, all your different trailers and what have you. It will go on there, but you have got to be careful. I did it earlier and used the large grain container, and I had manure in there, which is one of the heaviest things we we use. And when I filled it up, that was it. it I had no steering on the front where it just lifts the back end up. So it was a bit of a nightmare. So it is just for the smaller farm, really. If you got the smaller farm and you want to get a a hook lift, and this, the, some of them are too big, then this is what you go for. But nice little compact size. I had a little race rain in this earlier, and uh, didn't have any issues with it. Everything's working, and it was pretty stable, especially if you hit fences. I meant to do a U-turn and because uh, it's one of the things I check that you just turn too quick. Is it going to turn over? Where a lot of them, most of them don't. There's a fine line between getting grip. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of time you're going too fast, it won't steer anyway. But nice mod. Love a new truck just a lack of rear attacher but hopefully that come in time it would be nice if we could get a load more horsepower especially out of something like this if we could put a because it is the longer one it'd be nice if we had the option to have the five point there that would be cool right well that's your lot for fs19 mods for today's new mods anyway so nice to see we've got a few but it's always nice to have a bit more and was a little bit disappointed no mods in testing really uh, no update today so can't do a video if I haven't got the information simple as that isn't it but there you go if you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel you should go and check out some of my other content got over 600 farming simulator videos now so there's plenty from map tools to mods and testing to new mods to fs19 mods to 
loads of stuff. I just started doing the seasons playlist as well, which uh, I haven't done that any of that for a while. Finding the time to do it all is hard work, but it is what it is. I've started, so I've got to carry on. Righto, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.